Hi, Brandon Hardison, president of Champion Strategies with our ongoing series dealing with public speaking. Want to talk about today some of the common mistakes by public speakers. Mistakes are a killer. But before you begin learning the secret of oratorial school of skills, you must learn how to avoid common mistakes. Experts in the field of communication technology analyze and compare the behavior of amateurs versus professional speakers. And let's apply these two tips, amateur versus professional, and see what we come up with. The first one is inconsistency. People perceive information easier when they're in a good mood. If you're not an experiencing joyful, better, flared favored person building out, you may be looking kind of in and out. Now, if you have one venue, you're beautiful, another venue, you're blah, another venue, you're blah, another venue, you're blah. There's something going on because we're too inconsistent. Your evaluation should always look the way you gave your speech. Also, no apologies. No apologies. You should be pleased to be in front of them. If there is some type of mistake, if you are running late, if there's something that happens on the set or the Zoom meeting that you're doing, don't apologize. The public is self-focused. Therefore, the very minute you put yourself in the peach people's shoes regarding any type of issues outside or in conclusion with public speaking, your goal is either to motivate, entertain. So if it's not about how you speak and what you feel, but what information the audience gets, you need to talk in a way so the majority of the listeners feel that you understand their aspirations and their desires. We all have them. Now the speakers often apologize. Trying to absolve themselves of responsibility for the poor quality preparation of that material. Please excuse me in my hoarse voice. Please excuse me uh, was kind of a long speech. Please excuse me. I couldn't get the slides right. The apology is not the priest. It won't remit your sins. Instead, what it will do by constantly apologizing is turn disadvantages to advantages. Today, we would like to hear from a whole lot of people who've done that. We already know the answer because the answer is in front of us. It's preparation. So once again, Brandon Hardison, President of Champion Strategies with an ongoing series on public speaking. As always in parting, you go out and you make it a champion day.